For every three hours of computer games, Sandy has two hours of homework. For every seven hours of computer games, Madison has four hours of homework. I guess they have to do a, number of, a certain amount of homework for every, uh, every amount of computer games that they play. The following graphs describe the relationship between the number of hours of computer games on the x-axis and the number of hours of homework on the y-axis. Which point can tell us how many hours of homework Sandy had if she played computer games for five hours? So we have to pick which one of these graphs describe the, rela the relationship for Sandy between homework or between computer games, that's what's going on, on the x-axis, and homework. So they tell us for Sandy that for every three hours of computer games, she has two hours of homework. So for every three hours of computer games on the x-axis, she has two hours of homework. So it looks like that point is sitting right here on this red line. And this red line, every time the x-axis increases by three, which means three more hours of computer games, it increases by two. So there's two more hours of homework. So this red, this red line describes the relationship between computer games, hours of computer games, and hours of homework for Sandy. So let's ask, their, so we have to look at the red graph. And so they're saying if Sandy played five hours of computer games, so five hours of computer games for Sandy, you go to the red graph, you get to point C. So this describes it. Looks like it's a little over three hours of homework if she spends five hours playing computer games. So let's pick choice C, and it is right.